quiet. Kind of looks a bit like West Virginia. It's pretty huge tadpoles. Yeah. Looks like we've kind of come to a spot where the the path we're following has kind of gone into the water, so we're just going to keep going. I guess get wet, you get wet, right? I'm not driving all this way to to just be stopped by this. So you just um, I'm just looking across this sort of uh, slope here, um, which is right next to the stone church cave, and it's a mixture of you know various kinds of marble, you know, kind of all folded, and um, you know beautiful stuff like that. There's limestone in here. Um, you know, where you can actually see the fossils and then uh, a couple of little pockets, but then I find this hole which is blowing cold air strongly. You can see the actual, I mean, you can see, you can see the, how it's moving, you know, it's strongly blowing cold air. Um, it seems to pinch, but obviously not because deeper in, um, there, there are obviously cracks and holes from which the air is blowing. Um, that says there is space underneath here, some significant amount of space. It is blowing strongly, as I say, so that's promising for this area. There's something underneath here, aside from Stone Church Cave, that is known. I'm going to go and make, take a closer look at the cave and just see if there's anything we can find that might lead off into tunnels, other tunnels around the area. This is a, this is Stonehouse Cave. Um, looks like it's probably a natural drainage conduit that's been uh, modified. You can see the uh, building along the side there, probably by the people who built the railway line. Um, drains of marsh. Uh, it's just kind of like a natural land bridge, if anything. It's spoken of by Ongley in his famous 1965 thesis, Study of Caves in Ontario. He mentioned that there was blind, or at least not blind, uh, albino crayfish that he had seen, or somebody had seen here suggesting that possibly there's more to the system than meets the eye, maybe up behind the rubble. It's partway in the stone church, nasty, nasty smell in here. It smells like dead fish or something like that. Um, you know, you can see a bit of calcite deposition on the roof really hard to say, like, you know, what what formed the cave. It almost looks like I can see some drill holes. Um, I think it may have been a, possibly a natural, natural cavity that's, that's been enlarged by man. I mean, you're looking off to the side, it's natural for sure. This main passage here, hmm, gotta wonder. So I'll keep looking around. And uh, you can see how it's been built out like this, heading outward. So this is definitely a, a natural part of the cave. You've got boulders and rocks and scree piled up here across the natural entrance. Really intense formations here. I mean, delicate little tooth formations. Hard to kind of show, but you can kind of see them there. Very delicate. Um, and it goes on. It's sizable space. Just keeps going on into the blackness. Cave, cave tadpoles, huge, huge tadpole. Doesn't seem in any way fearful of the light. Um, so, this looks like an oyster here, just kind of depositional material. And it looks like there's one kind of here as well, just like a scab that's kind of loose. Looks like it come off easily, but it's obviously, you know, dropping, beginning of a stalagmites and now it's come loose because it was depositing on top of sand or something like that. So at first glance Stone Church looked like kind of a just a little you know land bridge or something like that. I'm now looking at it and seeing that it is substantially larger. It just keeps going. There's a strong breeze coming through here. Um, looks like there's some potential in the water area where it gets quite low. Something you'd have to do on your back. Beautiful little, you know, formations all over the roof. Examples of calcite deposition. Beautiful, man. I'm going to keep going just a little bit further here. I'm very curious. I mean, I can see a huge black space up ahead, just over that hump and into there. It looks like it opens into more of a room. Yeah.
Yeah. Just gotta go look and you'll eventually find something in terms of caves. Yeah. So I found an entrance or exit at the far end of this cave, but it, I mean there's plenty of nooks and different kind of, you know, tunnels and what have you leading off. Not really big tunnels, but it looks like sort of undercuttings. Well worth exploring. This is definitely not the end of my uh, looking at the cave, but uh, I'm going to probably head out here. A lot of uh, substantial sized spiders, kind of creepy, but anyway, I'm going to probably head out up here and uh, trace my route back to the other side.